have you guys purchased your legematic brush set and are wondering where is the tutorial to show us how to use the step system in this brush set well keep watching because i've created a tutorial to show you step by step one brush at a time how to use it and what this how this step system will help you apply your makeup i've created this makeup look so i hope you guys enjoy it I'm here to do a tutorial for you, but not just any tutorial. I'm here to show you guys how to use the Legematic brush set. This is what the package looks like. If you've ordered the brush set, um, I so many of you guys have asked me, please, Huda, do a tutorial. Show us how to use the brushes uh, because my brushes actually come numbered in order to teach you and help you to use the brushes um, in step order, basically. So this is what the box looks like. For those of you who haven't purchased the brush set, it comes in a box, it comes in this paper, and let me take out the brushes to show you. Okay, here's the brush bag, it comes with this, and in here you have a set of brushes in this rose gold bag, it comes with this flap, and you get 15 brushes in here. So that bag is perfect for traveling, but when I'm at home, I like to protect my brushes. So I got this from Walmart and I keep all 15 of my brushes in here. So let's get started one by one. Let me show you guys how to use the brushes. I always like to start with my brows. So here we go. These are the first two brushes in the kit for your brows. They are labeled B for brows one and two. So this one is one, which is your brow brush and it comes with a spoolie to brush your brows and then this is b2 which is your concealer brush to clean up your brows so let's begin using the benefit cabrow in number five this is what it looks like i'm gonna dip this in here and fill in my brows b2 is the concealer brush you can use any concealer i'm using one from bobby brown should be a thick concealer so after drawing this line here with your brow concealer brush, you could either go in with your finger or with our concealer brush to blend that out. For face, I've labeled them F1 through 6. So F for face. So let's begin. So here are the six face brushes, beginning with F1, foundation, F2, concealer, F3, powder, F4, contour, F5, blush, and F6, highlight so we're going to go in with our foundation on our foundation brush and we're going to begin to apply that in a buffing motion or stippling motion if you stipple like this you'll get a more full coverage and if you buff like this you'll get a more sheer coverage i wanted to show you quickly here how the brushes actually have the information on them so for instance this one says le Jamalik foundation f1 um, it's metallic so you, it won't show up on camera so well, but that makes it easier for you to follow the steps. Step two is concealer. I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape in the color light medium. And I'm just going to apply that right over here. Right there. And we're going to be using the brush F2 to buff that in. And I made this brush so it can fit into these little areas right here because a lot of times people miss that area. So blend that in. And then what's great about this brush, it's perfect for blemishes. If you have any blemishes, it's the easiest brush to stipple on and add some coverage. And in these little crevices and little areas that are hard to reach. Moving on to step three, we're using our powder brush to set everything, which is F3. And I'm going to be using two different colors. I'm going to use a darker, more natural color for my face and a lighter powder underneath my eyes. And I'm using the Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC. And we're just going to set everything. You can, again, stipple on for fuller, more coverage. Or dust with the brush or go in circular motions for a lighter coverage. And press that in. to set everything. Step five, contour. Now we get to put some color back in our skin. Um, I'm gonna be using the palette from Benefit and I'm just gonna be using Hoola. And I'm gonna take that and you see how this is tapered? So this way we get that perfect shape. I'm gonna go into my Hoola, tap some of that off and apply some contour. 
a little difficult to do this on camera since I'm wearing a hijab and trying not to show my hair. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go over my forehead, the nose, and a little bit in this area. And of course, for that double chin and buff that all in. I am going to be going with F5 blush. And you see the difference with this one, it's a more flatter, more wider, and much more softer. So it's less dense, which will give you the perfect application for blush. Let me just show you a comparison. This is the contour, this is the blush. Um, so this gives you a more precise application. So I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier blush in rose. I'm not a huge blush girl, so we're gonna go super, super light with this. I'm just gonna dust a little bit of that off. And I'm just going to go here at the high parts of my cheeks just to lift my face up. Since you see here, I have this area going down, I want to pick it up. For the final brush in the face collection is the highlight brush. I created this brush a little bit more compact as you can see here. So this way you can apply your highlighter in the exact places that you want. I'm going to go in with the Star Island highlighter from Ofra. And I'm going to take a little bit on there and I'm just going to apply that right over here. You see, you can be very precise with this brush and just apply it where needed. That concludes our face brushes. We have six and I went through the steps one through six. Now we can move on to eyes. Now to eyes, we have six brushes as well. They are E for eyes, one through six, as we did for the face, which is F for face, and then one through six. So this is E1, E2, E3, four, five, and six. For E1, E2, and three, the difference between them is one is a little bit more flat and short. It's a little bit more dense. This is perfect for applying your base color. E2 is a little bit more fluffier and taller here. It's also flat based. This is perfect for blending out your transition color. And then E3 is a little bit more round, so it's a bit more denser from here and it has a more pointed tip. And this is perfect for intensifying that outer corner. So let's begin. I'm gonna go in here with the first color. I'm gonna use this neutral tone right over here. And using my E1 brush, I'm gonna apply this right on my lids. And I'm just going to pack that on. Next brush I'm using is the E2. And I'm going to go ahead and dip that into this medium tone here for a transition. And I'm going to apply that right up here on the crease. And I'm going to buff that outwards. Next, we're going to go in with the E3 brush and the darker brown shade. And we're just going to contour that little corner right in here and blend that out. Now we'll be moving on to the three detail brushes. This is where we're going to apply some detail to the eyeshadow look. First with the pencil brush, E4, I'm going to go into that brown color that we use right in here, and I'm going to apply that on my lower lash line. E5, and this is a detail brush that you can use for any details like darkening out the outer corner, highlighting your inner corner, any details in your makeup, this is a perfect precision brush. And I'm just going to use a highlight from Ofra, the same one I used on my face, and I'm just going to apply a little bit of that on my inner corners. The E6, which is this bent eyeliner brush. I get a lot of questions about this brush and why it's bent. We made it bent so it's easier for you to go over your lashes if you have lash extensions. It gives you a better um, angle when applying your eyeliner from left or right. So I've applied my eyeliner. I even went in with that detail brush that I told you guys about that I used for the highlight in here and used some black eyeshadow and smoked out my liner. There's one more brush in the brush set and that is the lip brush, which is L1. And this is perfect for makeup artists when you're applying makeup on others. And also for yourself, it's to perfect the details on the lips. I'm going to be applying everything nice from Gerard Cosmetics. Another thing it's awesome for is mixing colors. You can apply two lipstick colors, mix them up with the brush, and apply directly. I hope this video helped you. I hope the tutorials were able to clarify how to use the brushes, and I hope I was able to teach you something today.